second. Moving over to the market segment. Segment. So I'll do the same thing as I did before, which is I'll split this up. Um, I actually went and looked at the previous market update and most of the information that I said was pretty close. Um, the tapering talk that came out of the Federal Reserve spooked the market. Obviously, the technicals caught a lot more spook uh, than anything else. It hit the 50, the 200. The, I mean, the 200 is obviously hasn't hit, but it's got the 50. It's got the... Uh, 20 it's got the 9 this is not looking good at all for the S&P 500 but there's a pretty high chance that this is oversold to begin with um, it has dropped in the last couple of days enough for a oversell so five almost five percent drop in the last couple of days a big oversell it hit the 100 by the way if I drew the 100 in this it would have hit the 100 right here on the daily and it probably is hitting it again right there on the daily currently in the sell indicator. It is still saying there's a lot of sell, but the thing is it is oversold, which I'm expecting there to be a decent bounce, at least in the short term for the next couple of days. So let me just get the RSI. Um, I need to get the proper one, but the RSI shows that right about here, right about here, it was relatively kind of extremely um, sold but you can see that the RSI right now if it starts picking up strength then we can start trusting the move up right now I'd be careful to play this anything long term I'm expecting the market to go up just a little bit in the next couple of days but that's only because it's oversold we'll have to see what happens when the markets open the dollar index so I said the dollar index was showing some strength last week it obviously prove that right it is still showing some strength uh, the RSI is still moving up the MACD is still showing positive it is still lighting up green candles if I went to the Haikanashi it is still showing strength in that as well so yeah the RSI for the dollar is still showing strength but that doesn't mean that there won't be a pullback I'm expecting that to be a pullback so that it can at least retest the 20 or the 50 or even the 9 so I'm expecting a pullback of some short amount in the next couple of days, but that doesn't have to be the case either. Also, it is coincidental to know that gold and the dollar are both moving up at the same time, which is a tough one to believe in most cases. Tesla is doing its own weird things. The VIX is still sitting at 22, which is higher than 20. Very, that's still pretty high risk. Bitcoin, it is moving up, but the problem is this wedge I don't like it at all. I'm actually going to draw something right here and we're going to see if this is what Bitcoin does. Um, so right here is what I'm drawing. Oh, okay. I am worried that what Bitcoin is doing right now is it's hitting these peaks and dropping down into a channel, which means that the next time it's going to peak is going to hit 44,000. And then it's going to drop again. That's the likely chance is it's got so much pressure from the moving averages and the resistance above it that getting above 44,000 is going to be really hard. But I'm expecting it to at least go back to 44,000 in the next day or two. And then we'll have to see what happens. Uh, UK and US oil. I am expecting either one of those to pull back. They had a really good run in the last couple of days. But if they keep running like this, then obviously the inflation trade is going to do really well. We'll have to see. Australian dollar looks really weak. I'm expecting that to probably go up, but only because it's oversold. Uh, it is also doing a daily higher high, which is kind of uh, kind of a good way to jump in if you think that the dollar is going to uh, Australian dollar is going to go higher. Um, <laughs> For the S, uh, sorry, for the ASX 200, which is the Australian stock market, it looks pretty weak. It did have a pretty low uh, down here, but the RSI is still showing um, lack of momentum or shift. The MACD is obviously showing the same thing, so we'll have to see how that goes in the next couple of days. I am expecting the Australian share market to bounce back to at least a one percent to two percent gain in the next couple of days, but that's I made that call, but I don't know if that's going to pull it off or not. 
and we'll have to see how that goes. And the last thing that I want to cover was the 10-year yield. Uh, it is dropping. It's at sitting at 1.50, which is actually quite high. Right now, it hit a oversaw, uh, overbought condition right here, but the MACD is still showing strength, and it is above the 200. So that's going to be painful for bond holders, I think. So I'll have to check what Stephen Van Meter is going to have to do about this. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Have a good one and see you later.